Yes. Um, you know, we have public institutions to protect the public at large. For example, if there's some a group of companies that are causing problems, generally the public, on consumer issues, we have the Attorney General enforcing the laws to make sure that the general public is protected from some companies doing fraud to the general public. I think everyone in this room would think it would be pretty absurd for John Jones to go in to protect the general public because they see a, a danger that's to the general public about some company that's committing fraud to the general public. Not to them individually, but to the general public. We have situations where uh, the uh, 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 county attorneys or the city council, uh, counselors that uh, represent the city, the attorneys, bring cases because of housing violations that affect the general public. We would think it would be sort of ridiculous for John Jones two streets away to say, I don't like the way this house looks. I'm going to bring a lawsuit because it affects me and the general public. Because it's so costly otherwise, they have every individual running around being the police officer for all the laws of the state of New York. It makes sense. That's what's happening in this bill, however. I just hope people really read this and understand it. Uh, Senator Oppenheimer says we've got, got to give it back to the people. Well, we have a DEC that's to protect the public interest from these types of situations that this bill attempts to present. Can you imagine if a developer wants to build a house housing project? Excuse me, Senator Thompson, why do you rise? I, I just wanted to um, state for the record that the DEC currently is not charged with enforcement of uh, secrets. And I, I, don't, I, didn't, I didn't say that my colleague was suggesting that. I just wanted to make sure that was clear. Senator Difference, Mr. Scott, Bob, you may continue. Okay, thank you. Uh, the point simply is uh, the process that's in effect is a process that protects the general public. To have, and we're all public officials. Has anyone in this room ever gone to the meeting, a meeting, a public meeting, where everybody's satisfied? There's always going to be one person or two people or a group of three people that claim they're some organization that decide they don't want this in their neighborhood. You know, this is a very, very dangerous bill. And uh, I happen to be a lawyer who tries cases. And if you want, and I'm sometimes accused of supporting trial lawyers' bills, this is the Lawyers' Full Employment Act. Because you, any individual can bring a lawsuit to stop a project. My God, we're hemorrhaging jobs in this state. And it seems to me that if you, your only interest is that you're harmed as the general public is and you don't have any special harm, this is a dangerous bill. I'm calling upon people not to think about a party line position in this. Think of what it's going to mean to your contractors in your jurisdiction if this bill, God forbid, ever passed. There are ways to protect the environment, but that you don't have to stop projects by one individual who happens to think that they're going to be the sheriff of their neighborhood. And, and that individual, if that individual has a lot of money, that sheriff will be the individual to impose his or her will uh, over the will of the community and the general public. So this is a no vote as far as I'm concerned, and it should be not even on the floor for discussion, quite frankly. Thank you.